Hey gang, welcome back to Kirby's Epic Yarn. Last time, Kirby fell asleep in his throne throne, again. This time, we're gonna head to that new world we unlocked in the last episode. I'll debate whether or not I want to make these any longer, depending on how much stuff can be done in an episode. So, sorry that the last one was just a tutorial. So, without further ado, let's get right into the rest of the gameplay. As you can see, welcome to Grassland. Grassland is grassy. The real question is, is the grass called strands of grass or blades of grass? Being that all things are made of yarn, probably string. My string field will be lush and green. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, grass. It's so beautiful. Please. I love you. I want to love you like my own son. You know, the one I don't have. Hey, it's a monkey. Give me money, monkey. Money. Money from the monkey. The monkey has money. The monkey is the king of money. Bow down to the king of monkey. Monkey money. Please give me my monkey money. Shh, don't tell him. I'm gonna kill him. Wait. Nah, we'll leave the monkey alone. I missed once. I'm not trying again. That would be rude. Don't kill the monkeys. Monkeys didn't do anything to you. Be nice to monkeys. Flower sofa. Respect your monkeys. And DDDs. Waddle Dee's. Your new name is DDD the Waddle Dee, and I killed you. So there can only be one DDD. Hey, it's a blipper. Die, blipper. Okay, I guess I'm stuck now. I'm stuck in the hole. No. Oh, wait. Bead. Or button. Button bead. The button is a bead. The bead button. Why are you doing something on the job, man? Ow, my face! <laughs> I guess that's what happens if you get stabbed by a spear. Can I have that? No, I guess not. Okay, so if you get hit in this game, you drop beads. So, you lose your rank. Rank is going to be hard to keep if you keep getting damaged, so try to avoid it. If you can. Hey! I was gonna ride that. Because there's some stuff up here. Like a money monkey. Which I will leave alone. Spectre monkeys. And we also have some more beads behind this. We're gonna jump right on over here. Jump on over here. And I think if you shake the tree, yeah, the beads will fall out and you get a star for it. Awesome! It's too cute! I can't handle this much cuteness. Oh, the tree ain't gonna go up. I broke the tree. The tree's broken. I killed it. This is a sad day. A sad day for tree kind. Tree Beard is very upset. Tree Beard wants to know your location. Aha! A brand new fountain. This will look great in my apartment. I don't know who's gonna do the plumbing, but I'm gonna put it in there. You know what? I'll do it myself. I'm a do-it-myself guy. Kirby knows how to do everything. Does he? Does he really know how to do everything? Can Kirby be an efficient plumber? Can he do any electrical work? Can he bake a cake? Knowing Kirby, he probably knows how to cook a lot of things. Directional input. Ah! It didn't quite work how I wanted it to go, but you know what? We got music. Music time. 
flop into this awesome soundtrack, which is just beautiful, if I can say so myself. Because it just is. It just it's, it's good. Well, that's very general. Um, I can't explain why I like it so much. It's just really good and peaceful. Very, very, very calming. And then there are, like, other tracks in this game that are, like, upbeat and super epic and stuff. It's just really well designed. Speaking of the soundtrack, the guy who made it, Toei... Wait, where did I put it? Let's see. Do, 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 Ah, there it is. Uh, Tomoya Tomita can be thanked for this. He also did sound work on Wario Land Shake It and Yoshi's Woolly World, another game that has a very similar art design. If you want me to talk about Yoshi's Woolly World at some point, let me know, because it might be fun. I haven't really played a lot of Yoshi games before, but I could get into them, or at least I could see myself getting into them. Do you guys mind if I just... there you go. Please, someone take a photo of this. This is perfect. Um, I don't think that... I'm gonna have to disagree, game. That was not a jump. Hey, look at this. We're gonna avoid physics in this game and talk about tanks, because tanks are cool. Tanks have missiles. Tanks can... What, what else can tanks do? Tanks can fly. Flying tank of death. Alright, so when you jumped into that vortex type thing, I think they're called meta vortexes or whatever they are. I'll have to look it up later or correct myself if I got it wrong. This, uh, the, the specific one I jumped into will turn me into a tank. That's why I'm a tank right now, shooting missiles at things. These, uh... Bronto Burks, I think they're what they're called. Yeah, Bronto Burks have, uh, don't stand a chance against the power of missiles and death. Death Missile. Sounds like a sounds like a uh, a weird. I don't know. Did that work as a band name? Death Missile. No, excuse me. I'm just I'm just thinking about Death Missile. They're probably a death metal band. If it doesn't exist already, someone should have a band named Death Missile. That would be hilarious. Oh, and this Waddle Dees will also continue to make missiles if we don't uh, stop them from doing so. The roulette! We actually get all the pieces of the wheel this time. Wow. Alright, let's try for that best. I'm not the best at this timing, as you can tell, but I think it's supposed to be like a little bit before you go into the one you want. Da -da -da -da, we failed. Da -da 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 Kirby's so happy. It's because we got gold rank, because we're awesome. Awesome gold rank Kirby. Awesome gold trooper Kirby. Gold trooper gold metal Kirby. Kirby made of gold! Hey! Look at that. Patches. Interesting. So basically it was telling us that if you hit the one button, you can place a patch into its area and... Watch this beautiful animation and for all. Look at all the butterflies! And now the door is open to us. Huzzah! Kirby does a dance! Do we have time for it? I say we have time for it. Do 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 do. Bum 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 ba ba bum 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 ba 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 da 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 da. Singing is fun. Cause I do it a lot, as you can tell. Kirby of the... Kirby of the forest. Kirby... Well, actually, this isn't a forest. This is a lot of flowers. So, Kirby of the garden. 
king of the garden. I'm the king of thrones and the king of garden. Wait, king of thrones. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that was... <laughs> That's a show! Yes, I can see it now. I can see it now, Kirby. Brace yourself! Winter is coming! <laughs> uh. Now, now I just want to see Kirby be the main, uh, the main character from King of Thrones now. Excuse me, Kirby, the King of Throne Throne, actually. King of Chairs, really. I'm sure a lot of people caught on to that, and I didn't even mean to do it, but okay. I'm going with it anyway. Make way for the King of Chairs! Oh. I killed a new enemy. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll have to look at him later. I don't even know his name anyway, so I'll have to look it up. Oh, wait. Gotta go up there anyway. Urgh, I gotta go back. We zoom in. Darn it, I'm one of... We've got ourselves caught in an infinite loop, boys. Maybe if we cheese it. You know, we can cheese that. Float on over here and grab our first treasure. What could it be? It's a flower clock. Wow. Yeah. Clocks are cool, and so are you. This guy, he has a pointy thing on his head, which means he'll turn into a triangle. What do triangles do? They're sharp, and they fly through everything. They have piercing damage, so they will go through solid objects and continue to the next target, is what I'm saying. Multi-kill. Multi-hit. Double hit. Triple hit. Quadruple kill. Overkill! So what's up here? Aha, it's just a frog. El Frogo. El Frogo give us the umbrella stand. We got the umbrella stand from the El Frogo. Are you guys a friend of the frog up there? He's a nice guy. You should go meet him. Let me get across over to my frog stand. He gave me an umbrella stand. That was nice. Speaking of umbrellas, the parasol Waddle Dee. I'll do what I can to mention the names and specifics of each enemy because I'm bad at it. Especially since I don't even know their names. But the umbrella Waddle Dee, or per parasol Waddle Dee, has a parasol. He will block us with his parasol, but he's bad at it. So just jump over him. Dun, 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 bum, 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 croak from the frog. Bo, bo. Oh, there's one of the guys without a triangle. So, basically only sharp objects turn into triangles. So, don't expect him to turn into another triangle just because he's the same enemy. It doesn't work like that. Only sharp things can be triangles. Flower fields. The music. I can always appreciate getting a nice soundtrack. Or a nice piece of the soundtrack. So, you're probably wondering, why this? Why make a Kirby game like this? Well, it wasn't originally a Kirby game. It was actually going to be all about Prince Fluff. You could do all the same things that Kirby's doing right now in his very own adventure. Just going through Patchland, being Prince Fluff, saving the day. It probably would have been the same plot, you know, just minus Kirby. But now Kirby's here, and it probably helped with uh, selling it, because there's no guarantee that a new IP would have done well. So it's nice that Kirby helped Prince Bluff have his little adventure, because I'm enjoying it. It's a, great, it's a great game. And you can still play as Prince Bluff in co-op mode. Also, Prince Bluff's probably one of the best character designs in this game. There's just a lot of good design in general. I just want to dock over the game because it's just so good. Dun, 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 green gem. If I get a friend to help out later in like a bonus episode or something, I'll cover co-op mode. It's not much different, but I can probably show off some of the differences between using metamorph, uh, uh, meta metavortexes because being in two-player, they will have specific variations to all the transformations that, you know, change the way they play. And other than that, 
I think I'll have some challenges and stuff to cover in the bonus episode, too. But all of that for later, because now we are going to make our way right here and just ring-a-ding-ding -ding this bell. Kirby does a pose. Killer Kirby pose. Epic! Extremely epic! Whoa! Kirby is happy now. Do 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 it's- I'm in a pickle! I'm in a pickle! C please, help me! I'm in such a pickle I can't bother telling you how much of a pickle I'm in. Prince of Earth, Lord Kirby, you're still here, oh thank goodness I ran into you. I am in most dire of pickle streets. Could I possibly ask you for your help? I thank you ever so much, Lord Kirby. Your generosity shall not go unnoticed. Well, looks like I'm doing manual labor again. See, I can't seem to find any tenants who will move into the new building here. It's the market. What is one to do? I think spiffing the place up a bit would definitely attract new tenants. I'm so glad they are to hear that you agree. Now, uh, take a look at this photo here. Wow, they have specifics? This must be a very fickle guest. Oh, could you do me a favor and decorate the room to look exactly like this photo? Oh, wonderful! My, that was much easier than I expected. I was hoping I... I, I I'm, I'm glad I didn't have to threaten you or anything like that. Uh, your job certainly are helpful. Well, I'm sure you'll find the furniture you need in the areas you've already visited. Well, Dom, my boy, we already got it. That makes things a whole lot easier on ourselves. Let's go ahead and get into decoration mode. Deca uh, deck construction mode. What are we building a? Are we building a back porch? No, we're decorating an apartment. Yay! Wonderful job, Lord Kirby. Now we must find someone who loves the flowers. Hey guys, I'm a guy who likes flowers. I love how you decorated this place. It's so crazy, psychedelic. You did it, Lord Kirby. I didn't even have it to go. I didn't have to think. It's so great. It's wonderful. I'm so grateful for your work. Yay, plot convenience. All right. Uh, all stupidity aside, this is a way to do some of the extra challenges I was talking about. I will cover those in a bonus episode. In the meantime, though, I think we're going to wrap things up here. Oh goodness, the puns have found me again. See you guys in the next one. If you like this one, please be sure to mash that like button, share your support, and ring the little bell to be notified when I post the next one. And as always, subscribe today to join the gang, and I will see you nuggets in the next one. Stay crispy, and keep it digital.